We also discover from Scripture that the spirit of faith is a master key to a world of exploits, accomplishing impossible tasks and without sweat. Through faith, they subdued kingdoms, exploits. They wrought righteousness, <laughs> not through skill, not through strength, through faith. A friend of mine said, how do you pay for all this? He came in here some years ago. And I said, faith. He said, faith. I said, yes. And I said to him, I said, faith is universal currency. Faith is what? A universal currency. It holds the same value in every nation of the earth. Holds the same value. You can't devalue faith. Faith will deliver the same result anywhere you are. All belief will make you suffer defeat no matter where you live, no matter your skill. Everybody needs people are in need because they don't know what they need. You need the spirit of faith to live your command life, to live a life of fulfillment, to step into your promised land. You need the spirit of faith. Everybody needs the spirit of faith. We possess the land by the spirit of faith, not by strength, not by connection. So we knew nobody. And we sought to know nobody. We knew nobody, sir. And we sought to know nobody. Faith has capacity to triumph on his own. Daniel was the beloved of the king, but it couldn't help him. He had mistakenly signed. He should be turned to the den of lion. He couldn't sleep all night. Daniel was his darling, but he couldn't help him. You get to a point in your life where no human hand can help you. Yes. Mm. But through faith, they subdued kingdoms. They wrought righteousness. They remained unmovable. They won't bow to any devil. They quenched the furnace of fire. They stopped the mouth of lions. Women received their dead back to life. My God, through faith. What do we have there in Hebrew chapter 11? Uh, the, uh, they call it the heroes of faith. They are all men with the spirit of faith. Men and women with the spirit of faith are walking them. You are getting there this morning. Yeah.